Hi, I'm John Paul Raj and I'm on a mission to make the learning of math fun. So if you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing. On this video, I'm going to show you a technique in which you can write down the factors of a quadratic expression where a, the coefficient of x square, is other than 1. Let's start. The general expression for a quadratic polynomial is ax square plus bx plus c. A is the coefficient of x square and in this video we are talking about where the value of a is other than 1. Okay, a is other than 1. We did another video earlier uh, on writing down the factors of a quadratic expression. I'll link that video in the description box below if you haven't already seen this. But here the value of a is other than 1, different from 1, not uh, equal to 1. Okay, and this technique will only be useful if you are taking some kind of an entrance exam, SATs, ACTs, or any kind of competitive exam where you do not have to show the algebraic reasoning. Uh, the condition here is also that A is not equal to zero so that it's a general quadratic expression. Uh, let's go with the technique again, all right? So here we go. What we need to do is that let's, let me explain with this, uh, the first one. So it's 2x squared plus 5x plus 2. And we've got to write down two brackets or two factors for this quadratic expression. What we are going to do is that we're going to consider the factors of the leading coefficient that is a and the factors of c separately all right so here c and a happen to be the same so we have uh, the factors of 2 as 1 and 2 and uh, the factors of 2 again here is 2 and 1 or 1 and 2 all right what we need to be careful is the order in which we place so this can take some time initially a little bit of practice and knowing all your multiplication tables in fact, for these kind of questions where the value of a is other than 1, where the coefficient of a is other than 1, you might need to memorize multiplication tables even um, up to 40 and beyond, the more the merrier, okay, knowing the pattern of the factors. After you've written down these factors, the factors of a, this is the factor of factors of a, and these are the factors of c, all right? After you've done that, you basically just have to cross multiply, okay, and see whether they add up to the middle term with the correct sign that too, okay? So here we go, this is 2 times 1, which is 2, and this is 2 times 1, which is 2. And they do not add up to 5, okay? 2 and 2 will not add up to 5 anyway. So these factors do not work out. We'll try another factor, so this is not going to work out. Let's try and switch it around, so we'll make it 1 and 2. And this time, let's try and see how the cross multiplication works. This is 2 times 2, giving you a 4, so this is not going to work out. This is 4, and 1 and 1, giving you 1, and that's going to work out. Now, before we go ahead, here this must be an x, and there must be an x. You know, I mean, there's no x, but because of the factors of 2x squared, you've got to write it as 1x and 2 times x. Now, how do you add 4 and 1 to give 5? Well, this has got to be a positive sign here. Okay, a plus 4 and a plus 1, which will give you 4 plus 1 equal to 5. And that sign that you've entered here, all right, that sign that you've entered here, that's the sign that's going to combine this factor, this 1x and the 2. The same sign that you have here is going to combine this 2x plus 1. So the factors are x plus, this is 1x, okay? So that's x. So x plus 2 and 2x plus a 1, all right? I'll repeat it again, okay? So these are the factors, okay? So it's 2x squared plus 5x plus 2. We could have written that as 2, 1 and 2, 1. Remember, these are the factors of a. I'll just highlight that again. That's a and that's c, all right? So first we list the factors of a uh, column-wise and even the factors of C column-wise. And then you've got to look for the right combination after you've cross-multiplied. So 2 and 1, actually, when you multiply, as we saw, it give, gives you 2 and 2, which doesn't add up to 5. Whereas when we switch the order of the, um, uh, the factors of A as 1 and 2, and then we kept this as 2 and 1, we saw that 2 times 2 gives you 4, and 1 times 1 gives you 1. And 4 and 1 add up to 5. So that is the right combination. So that's why I think initially it might be, it might seem a little difficult, but the more you practice and the more you have your tables, multiplication tables, knowing the order, it becomes easier. And then slowly you can work on the speed. So initially, if you're practicing, go slow, get it right first. Okay. So let's see, uh, check your multiplication. This is 2x square, uh, 4x, 1x, and 2. And so this is correct. Okay. Don't forget this x, okay? This x also has to be there. All right, let's try the next question now. I'm going to copy this down first. 24t square plus 19t plus a 2, all right? Now, can you see this? I want to make sure that you guys can see this. All right, now, first, as I said, list the factors of a. That's your a and that's your c, all right? a is 24 and c is 2. Uh, for 2, we just have uh, one option, right? It's either 1 times 2 or 2 times 1. So we'll do that and let's just put a line here. 
so that we can demarcate. But 24, you've got different options. You've got eight times three, uh, you've got six times four, you've got two times 12, and it's only with practice, okay? So let's just take one, something like 12 and two, okay? 12 and two uh, are factors of 24. And remember, this has to have an X here. What we are going to do is that we are supposed to cross multiply this. Two times two will give us four, and 12 times one will give us uh, 12. And 12 and four by no means will add up to 19. We want that um, sum to be 19 with the correct sign, okay? So obviously that means that this factor is not going to work, all right? Let's try with three and eight, okay? Uh, three times one, let's cross this out. Three times one is going to be a three, and eight times two is going to be 16. And can you see 16 and three add up to 19 with what signs? This should be plus, and this should be plus 16, uh, plus 16 and plus three will give us uh, plus 19 and those same signs that you've used there you got to put it out here okay so that the factors for that quadratic expression would then be 3x plus 2 and 8x plus a 1. Let's try one more example with the same technique okay we'll take a look at this example here 6y square I'm just going to write it down here 6y square uh, plus 33y plus a 33y, and what is it? Is it a minus 63? Okay, it's a minus 63. Remember, this is a quadratic in y. And uh, let's try, you know, let's try and see how much time it takes. I'm also talking and explaining. So um, let's try and see how much it takes, how much time it takes, all right? Let's go. So um, six, you can have factors like two and three, uh, and 63 can have nine and seven. And remember, this needs to be an x here. Uh, 2 and 7 gives you 14, 3 and 9 give you 27. That's not going to add or give you any combination of 33. So clearly this is not a good factor. If I switch it 3 and 2, 3, 7, 21, 2, 9, 18, 21, and uh, uh, this is 3, sorry, 3 and 7 is 21, and 2 and 9 is 18. Again, that's not going to work out. The other factors are going to be 6 and 1. 6 times 7 is a 42. 1 and 9, there you go, that should work out somehow. This is If this is plus and if this is a minus sign, that means we put the sign here as it is. Remember the same sign here. So it should be 6x minus 9 and x plus 7. How much time did we take? Oh, still under a minute and still when I was talking, okay, uh, and explaining that. So uh, I think you can still do it under, under half a minute if you have enough practice with your multiplication tables. So those will be my tips, okay? Get to know your multiplication tables. The more, the merrier. Uh, and the more you practice this method, you'll get to see the pattern like I worked out, right? See, you know, two and three and how you have to switch the uh, three and two uh, around. Um, so the more you see uh, these kind of uh, questions uh, with more practice, you'll recognize the patterns and the whole idea of getting this into the right uh, uh, factors. And by the way, you need to even check. Okay, so let's do that quickly. First of all, I wrote Y, okay? It, uh, I wrote X, it should have been Y. So that's wrong. Okay, this is Y. Okay, but you understand the basic idea. Okay, so it should be because the question is given in y, right? So this is six y square, negative uh, nine y, and uh, um, forty two y, negative uh, nine y, and plus forty two. Yes, that works out correctly. And a negative. So this is correct except for that y term that I messed up on. But you go ahead and do the right thing and remember this technique. Okay, let's quickly recap this technique. First, we write down the factors of uh, a. Uh, right, that's a. A is six, and the factors of c. And remember. Uh, the larger the number, there'll be many more uh, factors and many more different combinations of the factors, and which is why I keep saying again and again and again, uh, get to know your multiplication tables. And the combination that you get here, okay, because you're cross multiplying, okay, so it's cross multiplying six times seven and one times nine, all right? Six times uh, seven is 42, and one times nine is a, a nine, and with the correct sign, what sign you put here, plus 42 and minus nine gives you uh, the middle term with the correct sign. That particular sign, you bring it out here, so six times y okay i made that mistake earlier on but six times y make sure you put that variable here whether it's x or t or whatever that is uh six times y minus nine okay so that nine carries that negative sign comes from that same sign that you have adopted for nine here likewise that positive sign comes from here so it should be y plus seven for the next factor okay so this is a very simple technique and the more you practice you'll get proficient and you'll be able to do it in record time now, this technique will only work when you don't have to justify the algebraic technique behind factoring. In the next video, I will explain the algebraic justification of factoring quadratic trinomials. See you in that one.